Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome to my channel. As you can see, for those who are just now tuning in, I recently changed my name to from Christopher Williams DC to MJ's Blue Thriller. Um, it was from reasons, and um, I had no idea that um, there were going to be a few people in history that were going to come back because African-Americans have a very distinctive type of DNA and type of history about them that whenever, you know, one version passes away or sometimes when you get a version that didn't pass away, you know, you will get a second version and it would be like a replica of that same person. And every race pretty much almost has the same thing, but it's very unique when it comes from an African-American because we naturally know the gospel. And some of, the, some of us actually, you know, think we don't know the gospel, but we really truly do know the gospel. And if, for those who don't know the gospel, who are African-American, they were brainwashed by a colony and by a society that was established before them that that has made them unaware of their gospel-like characteristics due to the English who invaded certain lands and certain civilizations and colonies and, you know, developed their own system, which were, of course, the English, the Caucasians. Um, so many years over, you know, um, over and over, you know, people have developed a um, a type of mindset that was way off from the mindset that they were told to be gifted at naturally. Um, and some are gifted at the mindset that they naturally have because it's natural. You know, we're all having a natural mindset that any natural mindset is a gift. Um but some of us, for instance, like going to church every single day and praying and praying and praying and not getting any results because we were told to go out there and move and get it done, you know, and praying is OK for certain sometimes, you know, but really we are so gifted that we can go out there and make things happen. And this is another reason why the American system have. Um, people within it that, that are living with diabetes or heart disease and it's only because of the food that they're eating and the system is enabling large food chains to produce animal meat that aren't really 100% good for our health anything that's 100% good for our, our health would be foods that are natural and unfortunately scientists and people from um, the ancient world, you know, has this information already um, stated and, you know, um, carved in stone and documented in written text and, 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 you know, and typed on a computer, you know, this information is always going to benefit us. But yet the American system still has food chains, you know, providing meat. And now they're giving us the you know, the choice to go choose between meat and healthy foods, but why not just give us no choice but to have healthy foods if you really care about the people in America? And then, you know, um, we're usually hit with the term or the phrase that, you know, well, this is a free country and we want people to have their own opinions and, you know, the choices about what they should eat. But yes, that is true. But if you give them dangerous options is, you know, you're, you will look for trouble and you will receive that if that person is over consuming on certain things. Um, it's almost like how certain drugs is illegal to become into to America, but you wouldn't advertise it for people to go out there and give them a choice to do it, you know, because you will usually take their, take the drugs that they have or you will take their life and leave them in jail or in prison for many, many years, if not 
their entire their entire life. So it's a similar thing. So it's almost like if you knew the gospel, you would already have things orchestrated in a way that would get people not to tap into things like that. And that's the reason why I said that, you know, people who are African American, their DNA naturally has the gospel within and we would not, you know, we can, but naturally we know that the gospel was carved in stone and that those rules and regulations for everyone to have a prosperous life, to be living healthy, was already intact before the English people came and invaded certain territories and gotten our people and, you know, made them into slaves and then came over to America and took over the land from the Native Americans and they did it and so on and so on. And now we're at a point to where people should be waking up and, you know, many years ago, they did a lot of killings to get people to obtain a certain position for them to own certain things. But now, you know, this is a new age. Now, things can happen the same way. And, you know, that will be nothing but revenge for the Caucasian people. But we don't necessarily have to do that because it's a new age. You know, a lot of people would not like that about us saying, you know, stop giving them a second chance and kill them, blah, 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 blah. No, we're not going to kill them. This is a new age. And instead of us killing anybody, because that's not going to happen, they're just going to have to surrender their positions and give it to someone else so we can provide it with the gospel materials that is needed because it needs a gospel structure. Now, we know how African-Americans and other races, but some people are so intact in repeating the same methods over and over, people don't get things done the righteous way because they are repeating other people's, you know, methods more so than having a newer structure that's going to save everyone and let everyone live a prosperous lifestyle. Now, color has nothing to do with it, but African-Americans, because we naturally have the gospel within us, we know how to make sure we live a prosperous lifestyle and other races as well without killing anyone, without harming anyone. And it's funny because the Caucasians know how to do this as well, but they chose to still organize a system based on slaughtering animals and getting people sick whenever they consume meat or not getting things done physically, but going to church and praying for it. Like, Every church I know would actually go pray for something and, you know, to end poverty, to end people's sickness, to end, you know, relationships at home, you know, to end things like that, you know, to go get a job when it's just as easy to see that someone wants to work and give them a job if they want that job, you know. But a system would say we've hired all the people that we need or you need certain qualifications for here and it's like, you know, where is the physical love from people? And because America is designed like that, you know, it should be easy for everyone to live a prosperous lifestyle. So by that being said, in order for us to see some change, the system is going to have to change 100%. And it needs to be someone with the gospel within them. And that is the only way that we're going to see gospel related changes so that we can have a godlike system, you know, now, some things that Caucasian people do, they do provide a godlike system. Just like if it was a Hispanic running things, they do provide some things that's a godly system, that's within a godly system. Um, an Asian, same thing. Um, you know, any other race. You know, but we have already witnessed the repeated cycle of Caucasian. So it's time for us, and not to say that all Caucasians are, you know, um, repeating the same cycle over and over again, but the cycle, the system that we are, or should I say were, working within, it was based upon a white society, a white supremacist society, or a dominated, you know, Caucasian system. So, and yes, there were like people like Frederick Douglass who just so happened to be working within, by you know, because not everyone in the system was, you know, white. The majority were, but there were some other races that were also working within the systems, you know, to help, you know, um, organize the system 
and a way to keep people established, you know, but some things were keeping people unestablished. So we need an easier system that everyone will thrive on, grow and be able to support themselves healthy in a healthy way. And everyone else will be able to take care of themselves, which is happening right now. But just by having um, someone with, you know, and of course, if a person is an African-American, that the difference between that and a Caucasian would be the melanin. And the melanin in our DNA is very important because we naturally have this gospel in us that is providing a godly entity naturally. And because the sun is a medicine for our melanin, and Caucasians don't have that type of treatment from the sun because they their skin rejects the sun. It's science and it should tell some people something about the reason why the gospel is in a melanated person rather than a Caucasian person. Now, some Caucasian people do have African-American DNA in their blood because of mixed breeding and things like that. But... Um, do realize that Caucasians come from the mountains, the Caucasus Mountains, and they were a breed of a person with of color and from an ape-like animal that was founded in the mountains, and they had no awareness about the relations of a human being's structure of how they lived. So that should say the reason why the gospel may not be there 100% within them because here we are real humans and they are pretty much half, but they began with fully uh, with a full amount of non-resistance of the melanated DNA. So over time it grew because of crossbreeding, but this should just, just be a sign for some people to wake up and understand that our information that we need to gain a prosperous society comes from within the first people born. And that now people are different now. So the gospel has been shared throughout the world. So many people should know the gospel, but because we are still seeing some of the old ways repeat itself over and over, like we still haven't gotten reparations. And I believe that they're saying that we're getting the reparations now or whatnot. Um, I can see it happening because, you know, you know, benefits are coming in and benefits are coming in. So I can kind of see them kind of breaking things down. It makes sense a little bit, um, but I would like to see it all come as a whole. I would love to see that. And um, in order for us to have a 100% godly system, we need to have a melanated person in office or someone who is able to lead or take action. And we need the entire system to be melanated, okay? Because the old system was non-melanated and the new system will be melanated. So imagine a non-melanated system and people are struggling versus a melanated system and people are happy because there's prosperity within the order and people don't understand the gospel well enough to make everyone happy versus people, not everyone is happy, happy with the old laws that are happening, that has happened. So that's my reason for just waking some people up because I really feel like it's time for us to have this information out there so people can understand that all the only thing that we need right now is to have a melanated person, someone who knows the gospel to provide a prosperous lifestyle for everyone. So therefore there wouldn't be any more, as you can see, taxes are leaving. People are, in, are beginning not to pay taxes and they're starting to pull taxes out of the old system because people work hard for the money. They need all of it. You know, 
what's the point of paying someone what they work for if you're going to take some out? You know? Um, so that's being, that's being resolved now, thank God, uh, because of melanated ideas, you see? And that's going to help people prosper because they no longer have to worry about that little bit of income that was keeping them from moving forward because of taxes, but now they have to wait till the next pay period. And then they're still a little bit pinching and keep and trying to keep up with rent or pay, you know, whatever they need in order to stay alive. That is the reason why we need gospel related structures. So by having uh, African American come in, it is very necessary for for people to prosper. And it's possible for people to prosper whenever they have someone who knows the gospel. So I uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy my video. I hope it helped someone. Don't forget to go to my Instagram at MJ's Blue Thriller and you will be able to understand why my videos are the way that they are. But really the ways of the world and the reason why the world needs to change is explained thoroughly on my Instagram at MJ's Blue Thriller. On Instagram, see you guys later. Take care. Bye.